Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, uh, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a couple things if you ever wanna. This is a Monster Moto 80 frame, um, as you can see right there. This 2015 model, which is the last year that they made these bikes. So this is one of the last bikes they made um, for Monster Moto and then Mega Moto. Monster Moto and Mega Moto are the same thing, except it still has that same logo, except it don't have the Monster, it just has Mega. Anyways, so Mega Moto, uh, Monster Motos, they're the same thing, same frame and everything, but this is a Monster Moto 80 frame. Now, that's, that's the motor that came with it stock. Little old 80, two, maybe, I think, maybe two horsepower, and I uh, put a Predator 212 in it. Now, uh, what you gotta do, because you, you see the cover for the overhead valve right there on the motor, and the, the fender mounts right there with these two right there. So you gotta take the rear fender off. And you can see I got the drag slick. You'll be fine though. Anyways, so you gotta be careful with it because it barely fits. I mean, if that, if that don't tell you anything. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's a little bit tight. Um, as you can tell, that's at the top of the frame where my phone's sitting. You can see how close it is. Which, with this, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to get stage one performance kit. So, this will be out of the way, this plastic piece. And that exhaust, um, it's going to get ran from here. It's going to come out right there. It's going to stop right, right about here. It's going to be like about a four inch straight pipe. But, main thing is, whenever you're doing these swaps... Um, there's, so right here is the throttle, obviously, see, so that's full throttle, or not, no, that's full throttle right there, you can see right there, and then that, you can see that right there, see how it's moving, so basically, with these motors, what you gotta do is, brakes are on that side, and throttle's right here, so, you might have to get a throttle, uh tube and you might get a line and run it down here and i'm not 100 percent sure i've not done this full thing i just got it bolted in also you gotta drill new holes for it for the motor um that's the hole where the original motor sat and as you can see there's a displacement but you know there's a bolt missing out there and it, it, it's got three in it. it'll hold it down that's the redneck way that we do it around here anyways so the nozzle for the gas is right in between this frame and basically, um, with the throttle cable, I don't know exactly how to do it. I'm going to watch some videos on it, and I'll get back up with y'all maybe in the, another video about it. But uh, as I know right now, uh, I think I just got to put, like, a line right there. So when you twist it, it'll, it'll like, pull it back like that, and it'll let it back go like that. But... I'll uh, figure that out, but yeah, my bike is but is normally black, and I painted it, and I put that sticker on the front of it. it says built not bought. But I just wanted to tell you guys these little things about it. Um, before, like if you ever want to do a swap, you can come over here and um, check it out. Also, if you guys have Facebook, you can uh, look up. It's Carolina Motos. It's my group and uh, one of my buddies. He's got a monster, or he's getting a Monster Moto 80 frame off Go Power Sports. If y'all are gonna get some parts, I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but I would recommend Go Power Sports because they got really good deals. Like they got clutches, chains, plastics, bars, anything you could need, they got it. But any, anyway, guys, I'll let you know um, about some more about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.